we shot a little preview video of this Regal 3560 earlier in the season and we have now got a chance we've got our berth freed up and we've got a chance to get this boat launched and on the water so the hull has been given a, a polish the hull bottom was anti-fouled the anodes and things were replaced the boat was serviced at the end of the season and it hasn't this is the first time it's actually gone into the water so far this year so she's looking really good actually we're going to do a proper walk around video tour on it we don't have time just today to do that but um i did have time to get it launched and to do a wee sea trail of her so we're literally just back in so this is the introduction we're gonna you're gonna see the boat being taken out on the lake now put through her paces on the water uh just to show you how the boat performs underway but this is a lovely boat actually there's been quite a bit of interest in it there's been a lot of people talking about getting sea trials on her so i just want to do the video to show you how the boat's running and if you if this is a boat that you've been watching um over the last few weeks now is the time to get in touch because she's sitting on her berth or on our berth i should say and she is available immediately available for viewings sea trials and indeed delivery if you want to make the most of the last couple of months of the season okay so have a look now at how she performs on the water so we're on the water in the uh, in the regal 3560 and i'm just going to show you how the boat performs underway um first of all it's starting nicely engines are starting on the on the button um all the controls that i put my hands to here today are working as well which is good we've got the evc or edc as it is in this one with electronic uh flight aware throttle and shift power steer uh, and the controls are, are all very nice so because we've got the flight aware throttle and shift it's obviously finger light shift controls um they all, it also seems pretty responsive to, uh, it is quite windy here today, obviously with the covers up you don't really feel it, but it, there is a bit of a breeze blowing onto our bow, so just with a wee bit of forward and ahead, we can actually get the boat to rotate in our own length, so it's pretty well mannered around the marina, which is good. Obviously, you've also got the bow thruster here as well, and it's responding well to that, so we get a bit of bow into the wind. It is very breezy here now at the minute. Side power bow thruster, working well also. Um, so now that we're just tootling along here at idle speed, I will walk you through the instruments. So we've got a big Raymarine C120 chart plotter. It's got a position fix and it's given us our speed over the ground reading here. So we're just doing a couple of knots because we do have that strong headwind. Gauges wise, we've got fuel gauge, three quarters of tank fuel in it, voltmeter, temperature gauge, oil pressure for the port engine, RPM. Obviously the hours are, are not reading correctly at the minute, but 93 hours in this one, 93 hours in that one. They were replaced, I can't remember now exactly when, but I'll, I'll check the spec on it. It'll be in the information on the listing. Um, taco for the starboard engine, oil pressure, temperature, voltmeter, and fuel gauge. Everything, all the gauges are the same across the two engines and they're all working. We've got our, Ray, our uh, Raymarine autopilot display here. And we've got our Raytheon depth display as well. Controls for the trim tabs are here. EDC control and diagnostic panel there which is all working we've got our trim controls for trimming the drives and the two trim gauges are here and they are working both drive trim gauges are working perfectly which is good and then just switch gear VHF radio is working as well um, I haven't test I don't think this is this is the old stereo remote we've obviously got this newer fusion system now which again is all operational so nice dash all the information you could want and just to show you the sort of seating position here this is my eye line whenever i'm sitting on the helm seat with the bolster down so you are just sort of juking underneath the top of the windscreen and then if you want to flip the bolster up you're sitting looking up through this section you can actually roll this up and clip it up as well so you can get a bit of a flow of air through this is the standing height so you get full standing headroom here as well so you can stand at the helm 
you've good visibility all the way around the boat because you are elevated above all the other seats. So for in inland waterway stuff, you're probably going to be cruising at maybe this, you know, let's get her up to 1500 RPM. You know, this is going to be your sort of low speed cruising. We're doing five knots here, six knots, just cr creeping up to six knots, obviously into the wind. And we've got no wake, minimal wake. So for probably 70 or 80% of your time, this is the speed you're going to be tipping along at. Boat tracks nicely in a straight line. Obviously it has that autopilot as well, so you can hit turn that on. We've got the trim tabs extended now also which obviously help with straight line tracking too. So nice, comfortable boat to drive at slow speeds. You can sit and have a conversation with your crew. It's not noisy. It's sort of going to be nice and relaxing. We're going to duck in behind this island now and put her on the plane over here to show you how she runs on the plane. So you can just hear those Superchargers kicking in now at that 1600 RPM, so we just drop her back 100 RPM. You can keep it to 1500 RPM, you, you don't have any of that supercharger whine. So, this is definitely your slow speed cruising speed. Okay, so let's put her up on plane now to show you how she runs at speed. We've got the trim tabs down also, so we take the tabs off, lifts the bow a wee bit more. Back to 3000 RPM and the trim tabs down. Still sitting nicely on the plane. We're doing 16 knots over the ground. Temperatures and pressures and everything are all good.
okay so everything looks good on the boat it actually it's handling really well all the controls are nice and light everything's doing what it's supposed to do running solid running good um all the instruments look good as well the oil pressures match across the two engines temperatures are matching across the two engines I've got to take the trim tabs off now, so I've fully retracted the trim tabs. There's no indicators in these tabs, so you just sort of have to do it by feel. But I've got the, uh, if you're unsure, if you hold the bottom of the switch uh, for like 10 seconds, that's going to retract the tabs, so you take them off completely, and then you can sort of start again. So what I'm going to do now with tabs off, I'm going to put it on the plane again, and we're going to do a full speed run here as well, see what we, top speed we can get out of it. So here we go. goes a bit higher but we still don't lose sight of the horizon that's her now now Okay, so 30, almost 31 knots there at uh, just over 4,000 RPM, and it gets up there quickly as well, flying this thing. Temperature hands were steady, oil pressure hands were good. One last thing I'm going to do, which I like to do on twin engine boats, is I'll do a, a full throttle pull on each engine individually. That's a good test to see whether you've got a weak engine or not, so let's put the trim tabs down again now actually as well. So trim tabs back down. It's running nice and level in the water as well. There's very little leading to it. You know, you don't need don't need any tabs to straighten the thing up, which is good. So let's do a pull on the starboard engine. Okay, so it's getting up to 3,000 RPM there. You're wondering what that vibration is, it's this. Bit of a vibration from the grill there just but so that's on the starboard engine we'll do the same again on the port engine now up to 3000 as well So they are identical, which is exactly what you want to see. So there you go, that is how the Regal 3560 is running on the water. It's doing everything it's supposed to do. Slow speed cruise is about 1500 RPM and 6 knots or thereabouts. Um, sort of slow plane in cruise at 3000 RPM, it's doing 16 knots and it's sitting comfortably on the plane with a bit of trim tab. Flat out, it's doing 30 knots, 31 almost at 4000 RPM. So it's going to cruise anywhere around like 20, the comfortable sort of economical cruising speed is going to be something like 21 knots whenever you're planing and 6 knots whenever you're just tooling around on the uh, on the rivers uh, through the, the Shannon system if you're thinking about taking it down that neck of the woods. Everything's working here which is really good, the controls are good, it has literally hasn't missed a beat. The, whenever you do the, sing, the pull on each single engine they're, they're both coming up to exactly 3000 RPM. This boat has passed every test that I normally do. Um, it's running really nicely. It's nice and stable in the water. It feels like a big substantial boat. You get great visibility all the way around it from the helm seat. 
and uh, plenty of room to stand at the helm as well. Um, it's a really nice big American sports cruiser. Throttle shift is nice, steering drives feel good, everything about it, no vibrations or rattles or anything on toward, it all looks really good. So I just wanted to make this video to show you how this boat is performing on the water. Thanks for watching, I hope you find it useful.